Hi all, welcome to my YouTube lecture on HTML programming using Verilog behavioral modeling. In this session, we are learning how to design a counter using Verilog code. We are focusing mainly on design writing a Verilog code of 4 bit up counter and 4 bit down counter. So before we proceed with writing a code, let us understand what, how, the, how the counter works. So here we'll just uh, see the working of the counter. So let us assume we have a 4-bit counter. We have a 4-bit counter. So it'll be having, it'll be triggered by a clock, which is a edge triggered one. It's optional, you can have reset or, or a, you, may, you may ignore it. And you will be having the output and you, your output will be of 4-bit. So this, this defines a 4-bit counter. If it is 3-bit, the queue should be of 3 bits. So what happens is in 4-bit, the start value is 0, 0, 0, 0 binary. So when the counter encounters a positive edge or a negative edge based on what you have defined, assuming it to be a positive edge, so it increments by 1. So it will go to 1. So in the next positive edge, it will increment one more time. So it will be one zero. And similarly, it goes on till the maximum. So maximum being 15 equivalent decimal. It's being 0, 1, 2, 3, 15 equivalent decimal. So now, once it reaches 15, again, think that a positive edge is encountered. So it will be incremented once again. Now what happens is a basic addition carry. So you will have one zero 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 zero, and this is to be assigned to Q, which is of four bit. So whereas uh, it is of five bits, hence it gets truncated. The least significant four bits will be assigned to Q, hence Q will get the value zero zero zero, and this Q will be ignored ignored so q this factor so it means it is again rolling back to the the start value this phenomenon we call it as roll off of a counter rolling off of a counter this is how the counter works and it continues so now let us uh, look at uh, the counters, up down counter, up counter of four bit, down counter of four bit, two quotes will be just uh, taking into account now. Uh, we will just uh, learn how to write uh, the four bit up counter considering two inputs clock and queue, uh, clock and uh, reset and output being Q, which is of four bits. We'll just uh, take the help of paperwork. Now we'll see how to write a very low code for a counter up counter I'll be considering 4 bit up counter so this is how it is written module module up underscore counter underscore 4 bit this is a name I am giving just to you know understand what is this code is about clock is one of the input uh, reset let me take reset one of the input and Q is one one of the output so my inputs being clock and reset and the outputs being 3 down to 0 Q and again I am using this uh, output Q inside the always block hence I should declare this also as I did not uh, left with uh, space here. I'll be writing it separately. 3 down to 0. Q is equal to 4 bit. I'm in, I'm just uh, giving its initial value. I'm initializing it to be uh, 0 initially. 4 times 0. Because I'm writing B here. Then uh, start writing the code. Always at pause edge pause edge of clock begin begin i'm checking reset if 
reset the counter should be resetted or else it should be made zero it should be made zero else else begin q should be assigned with its incremented version q is equal to q plus 1 so i'll be ending the so here i have begun it so i need to end it or this begin is not needed because in else also i have single single uh, statement so no need so i'll end the always block and end module so let me just uh, tell you with the minor uh, modification to get the down counter down counter of 4 bit you can try it by yourself what are the changes uh, let me tell you all these are same same here q should be initialized with because it is a down counter it should be initialized with the highest 4 bit number that is 1 1 1 1 rest everything is same here same and when it is a reset reset is one so your q should be allotted with the highest value one 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 else else q should be decremented so this is your down counter you can try by yourself uh, one more uh, small deviation or confusions that can um, bring you uh, th that confusion that can happen is in some of the books you can see that they might use uh, the non-blocking statements if you use blocking or non-blocking it doesn't make any difference in this program so the difference that is going to happen with blocking and non-blocking is in terms of delays wherein here in this basic code it does not matter much so here are the same code up down counter and uh, up counter and down counter of 4 bit uh, we have uh, made some change uh, we just removed this begin and end as uh, the else part is having only single statement and you can also see that uh, here the assignment is uh, non blocking uh, just to avoid confusion it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all you can check it in your simulation take it as an assignment and in down counter you can see that whenever reset uh, initialization is done to the maximum and uh, when reset is one q should be made as uh, one 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 15 for four bit three bit means it is it should be set to seven like that and here uh, decrementing q should be decremented by one whenever it encounters a positive edge so we'll go to the uh, xilinx environment and we'll check the simulations of the counter so up counter same code i have copied i'll synthesize it now so whenever the positive edge is encountered your q will be incremented if reset is zero if reset is one irrespective of uh, your uh, clock q will be uh, always at zero and see here it is giving some uh, error line number uh, not error warning line number 11 result of 5 bit expression is truncated to fit to the 4 bit line number 11 so i just uh, explained you in the paperwork that when q reaches the maximum that is 1 1 1 1 15 15 plus 1 will be 16 that's a 1 1 5 bit it becomes 5 bit one of the most significant bit will be ignored and uh, or the only least least four sign four bits will be assigned to the q that is what has been uh, warned here and it is it is intentional i wanted it actually to happen like that so you can ignore it uh, let me simulate it so you can simulate it now so counters are one of the important parts of uh, the digital circuits we will be using counters in uh, almost most of the circuits for various purposes so here is the simulation clock i give the clock zero one hundred nanoseconds okay let me give the reset value as a one to show that it will be set to uh, let me give it as one so run it for the specified time so i'll show it so your q value is zero 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 now i change the reset value to zero you can check the counter increments 
so here i maximize it so you can check it or else i'll keep it to unsigned i'll change the radix go to radix unsigned decimal and you can check it so here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Again, rolling back to 0. It continues. So if I make reset again one, there itself, it will become 2. Counter, counter stops counting and it will be 0. So this is how the up counter works. Now down counter in a the, in the much similar way. There is no difference. Much similar way. I will just uh, take the copy the code which I have already written. So I will paste it here. Down counter save it make sure that whenever you change make some changes in the code don't forget to run the synthesis because it will check the syntax error once it is free of any syntax again you might you might encounter the same warning as it was uh, mentioned in the uh, previous case that uh, it truncates certain bits let us not worry about it so i just simulate it highlight the dot v code and simulate behavioral model So here what happens in the down counter is Q reaches the minimum value 0, 0, 0, 0. When you subtract 1 from it, it will rolls back to the highest value. That's a, that's a change uh, is going to happen. So I just show it clock 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 100 nanoseconds. You can give any, any amount of time. I give reset to 0 itself. So I start the counter immediately. So I change it to unsigned. By default, it will be a binary. Change it to unsigned decimal. So 15, 14, 13, it goes on continuing. So once it reaches 0, again, if you try to decrement it, so it will reach to the 15. So this is what happens uh, in the down counter. So as soon as I make reset equal to 1, reset equal to 1, so your Q takes the value 50. So this is a working of uh, up counter and down counter. Any doubts in designing of the counter, please uh, ask your queries in the comment box. And uh, in the next uh, session, we'll have some more interesting quotes. We'll try to write uh, some more quotes for the counter. And to keep updated, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.